Hi everybody, my name is May Lynn and you can call me May and we are here with Robert. Um, actually, something happened. I was over here making my coffee while I found my lunch menu for today has changed. So, I was planning on making delicious chicken lettuce wraps, but somehow, somebody crossed it out. Look at that little guilty face. Robert, was this you? No! No? No. You didn't change your lunch menu for the day? Mm-mm, I didn't even know where it was. Are you sure? Yes. Where was it then? Hmm. That, who thinks that looks like Robert's writing? Well, That's not my writing. We don't know what your writing looks like though, right? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, let's see. So you say it wasn't you. Mm -hmm. How can we figure out if it wasn't Robert's? All right, let's see. So how about we have Robert write something so we can see if we can match his handwriting. Okay, ready, Robert? Mm -hmm. Okay, come over right here so people can see your writing. And we are going to write with Mommy's pen. Write your name right here. All right. Thank you, Robert. Let's see. Here we go. So Robert wrote his name. Hmm. It's definitely not my writing. So I didn't change the menu. Robert's writing. Um, it's a little bit messy. Maybe it could have been him. But there's one more person in this house. Michael! What happened? What happened? So today's menu got changed. Somebody changed our lunch menu. Okay. And Robert said it wasn't him. So why am I here? Because you're the only other person that can write. <laughs> I <laughs> it think. Was, it was not me. Look at that writing. <laughs> Alright, prove it. Let's see. Okay. Let's have you I write. know! It's Johnny! Well, Johnny hasn't been here. I'm writing my name here? Yeah, write your name. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Ooh. Let's see. <sighs> writing, writing, writing. Those two look very similar. I think that's just boy writing. Those two boys. Robert, you got your jeans from your dad. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. <laughs> Was it you? I just wrote the beginning of it and then he wrote the West. Oh, you think you guys were together on this? He was. Okay, let's see. Alright, so... He made me write it for a snack, but he didn't give me the snack. He bribed you? Mm -hmm. He told you to write that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, silly daddy. Okay, let's see. Let's figure it out. Okay, so... The writing doesn't really help us out. But, before we started our live stream, I went and I actually found some things. I found... Pens. Okay, and these pens I found. This one was in Michael's office. Okay, and uh, this one was in Robert's room. So let's see if maybe that can help us out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna draw a little line 
underneath and underneath and I'm gonna put an R and an M so we know which one is which. All right, man, those pens look very, very similar to each other. So how can we tell, how else can we tell who wrote it? I can't tell by your handwriting. Both of you have very similar handwriting. And I can't tell by the pen because those pens look very similar. Oh, do you hear the howling? That's Cole. He's back. Okay, so there's one thing we can do. And we can start separating the ink inside of those pens. No! No, why not? No! Because that's going to help us find out who did it, right? No. No? Maybe. So each pen, okay, each brand has its own different recipe for ink. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to separate the ink to see which pen was used to change that menu. So we're going to be using some rubbing alcohol and we're going to just use a straw as a dropper. Okay, because it's an easy way to do it. Um, and we're going to figure out who did this. So let's see. We have our dropper. I assigned each one of these. I assigned each one of these a little letter so we could see the difference in the ink. And there it goes. And it's running. Okay, so we see the pen Robert used. And we see the pen that Michael Oh, well, the one that was in Robert's room and the one that was in Michael's room. So, it's kind of hard to tell. But, Robert, what color do you see starting to separate from that one here? Purple. Purple. And this one? Blue. Blue. Darker, right? So, should we show everybody who did this? Did you do it? No! Last chance to confess. No! No? Let's see who did it. Let's see who did it. Okay, we're going to start separating the colors on that one. And what color do you see over there, Robert? Purple. Purple? So which one is it matching? Michael. Michael's. Oh my goodness. I think Michael went and he tried to blame Robert for changing the menu for the day. So it's hard to see on the screen, but this matches this ink separation. It has a purple hue around it, and this one has a darker blue around it. So, Michael! He's in trouble. What happened? We'll make him pay for the pizza. Mm. What are you so smiley? I don't know. It wasn't me. Well, Robert and I just used science to prove that you and the pen we found in your office <laughs> are guilty. I think Robert put the pen in my office. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess we're having pizza then today. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Now we solved that problem, and we know Michael's paying for the pizza now. All right. I have a question for Robert. Robert, have you heard of primary colors? Yes. Yes. Have you heard of secondary colors? Yes. Yes. What does it mean? Primary colors are the first colors. The first colors. And secondary? 
The second color. The second color. Hmm. What do you think that means, though? If you have the first color, but then you have a, the second color, how do you go from the first color to the second color? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. A primary color. Do you know what the primary colors are? Do you know what the primary colors are? The first colors. The first colors. And I'll show you what those first colors are. There's red. There Green. is yellow. Blue. And there is blue. blue. All right, so let's find out why these are the primary colors. Okay? Let's see. Why are these primary colors? I want to do it. You want to do it? Okay, can you come over on this side? And then you can start squeezing a little yellow dot right here. And then do a blue dot right here, okay? Can't open it. Can't open it. Ketchup. <laughs> Looks like ketchup and mustard. Ketchup, mustard. Get out of here. Uh, that looks kind of weird. I wouldn't eat that. Get out. Squeeze it, baby. There we go. Mustard. Okay, so we have our primary colors. My mix. So, actually, that's what we need to do in order to get to our secondary colors. So, what you're going to do is we're going to mix a little bit of the yellow with a little bit of the blue right here. And what color do you think that's going to give us? Uh, yellow and blue. What color do you think that will give wait, us? Wait, how do you make You just grab them. Put some in there. Grab some here. Put it in there. It's purple. It's purple. What color does that look like? Green! Green. Okay. Now let's wash your little brush and let's try brush. another one. Yucky water! Okay. Here, let me get you another brush for a different color. Yeah. And now how about you mix the yellow? with the red right here. What color do you think that will give you? Yellow and red. Hmm. Makes it good. Orange. Orange. Okay. And then this one with this one. So that would be red and blue. We have our primary colors, which are red, yellow, Wait, and water. blue. And our secondary Ooh. colors. What are the secondary colors? Secondary colors. Orange, green, purple. Orange, green, and purple. All right. So, hmm. Make sure yucky colors. Yucky, yucky colors. All right. Green. So, you see what happened here? We actually get something where we can start 
mixing, well, not mixing, but we can start combining colors so they look nice together. And you know what that's called? Complementary colors. So complementary colors are colors that complement each other. And we have purple. I want to get complementary. And yellow are complementary colors. And Can we I see that a lot in sports. So sports teams that have the yellow and the purple together. There's sports teams that have the orange and the blue together. Those are complementary colors. And then there are some teams, more like Christmas, that has red and green that complement each other. So from our primary colors on our secondary colors, we get those complementary yeah, colors. Probably. So what would happen if we mix them all together? What color? Yeah, what color? What would happen if we mix it all together? Just all of it together. All of it together, together, everything together. What do you think that's going to give us? What is that starting to look like? A rainbow. A rainbow because they're still separate, right? But if we mix, 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 mix them together. A gray? It's, ooh, it's starting to have a gray hue to it. But it should give us brown or like a greenish brown color. Okay, so adding all those colors Added. and mixing them all. I'll add two. They are going to give us a brown color, like a dark color. All right, so Robert, okay. how about we make some beautiful paintings with all these colors? Have you heard of a pendulum before? Mm. You know, you've seen a pendulum before. Can I remind you where? Where? When we went to the observatory? Mm-hmm. There was a huge pendulum in the center. And it was going and moving and knocking things down to tell time. You remember that? Yeah. No, it was like a little while ago. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a pendulum. Ooh. And we've actually set things up already to begin I our set pendulum. It clean up. So Robert, a pendulum, we're going to set this up and we're going to use our tripod that we have. And we've already set it up to where the tripod is actually, and you'll see it right here. Okay, and there's Robert, and that's our station, and we've actually hooked up a little camera there, that's why you can see what we're doing at the bottom, but we are going to use this tripod and that little hook up at the top, can you point to the little hook? Right there, we're going to use that for the string, for the string, we're going to tie the string on there so that we can start swinging our pendulum, alright, let's see the string, where's the string? Who did it? Ugh. I think he's making a mess. <laughs> Alright, we'll make a mess right now, okay? Oh, yay! Let's get this started so we can make a beautiful mess. Beautiful mess! A beautiful mess, <laughs> and that mess is called art. Alright, so, okay, let's tie a knot at the top. Can you tie a knot? <laughs> no? Let's help you out then. We're gonna tie a little knot at the top here. Okay, hey, where's the straw? Okay, nice knot. Okay. And then we are going to maybe cut some around here. Maybe. Straw. It's in the water. Okay. Okay, so can you hand me the scissors? Watch the cord. Can you hand me the scissors, please? Okay, how do you properly handle scissors? Perfect. All right, so carefully in the careful position. 
right? And we're just going to cut over here somewhere. Okay, we're going to give ourselves some little extra string. Cut. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to first show you a pendulum. Let me see. And we're going to show you this pendulum with this little Minecraft Lego guy. Okay. He's been hanging out with us for days over here. Did you he did say the water on him? with us. Water on him. Okay. Get, get wet. And a pendulum, basically, we see the swing. Oh, baby. Okay. Oh, can I swing? And depending on how we swing it, it will create a back and forth ding motion. Dong, ding dong. Go okay. faster. This is rubber with the pendulum. Meow. 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 Hey, Robert. What can we attach to the bottom here so that we can make a beautiful painting? Paintbrush. A paintbrush? Not a bad idea. Let's try that. Or a Q-tip. A Q-tip. Which one do you want to try first? Q-tip. Can you reach over? Q-tip. Q-tip. Okay. Q-tip. And let's see. Q-tip. 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 We're going to just try a little bit. Tip, 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 So Q-tip. Let's have this little guy. Hold it. Can he hold it? Nope, he can't hold it. Oh look, I got swords! You got swords? Keep the swords. Attack! Attack me, Lynn. Okay, here, hold on. He can hold I it. I got him. Ow, he can't. He can't, right? So we're coming up with little solutions to have him hold it. Okay, see? There you go. Alright. Ooh! He's holding it too low. A torch! I'm making a torch. I'm making a torch. All right, here we go. Let's use our pendulum to try and paint something. Ready? Okay, let's get you an empty sheet. Okay, ready? Let's dip this in the paint. And go ahead and push him. Push him over. Robert. We're gonna push him over. Just give him a little a little tiny push. Alright, so we see him painting. Okay. Huh. It's working. Let's try something different. What else should we try? Is it a paintbrush? You're pa you're painting with Q tips? What are you making? That looks like that DJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, so we made some splat drawing splat abstract painting. Alright, so here's something that we can do to get a little bit more paint on that paper. And that is using little bottles or even using like a ziploc bag. Okay? That way our paints can actually start dropping onto our paper a little bit more smoothly. So something we're going to do is we are going to get paint. We'll start it here with a bottle. And then we are going to dilute it with water so it can... Let's make it more painty. So it can come out faster, easier, smooth. Alright, we got some paint in there. Is he still painting? Okay. Can you hand me the water? Baby. Can you hand me the water, please? Okay. You can put him up here. Okay. Poor little guy. He's all painted. Okay. Well, let's dip him in. 
I'm gonna dip him in to wash him off. No, I like him like this. Let's keep him like this. You like him like that? Okay, I'm gonna take him off the rope. Can I paint him? Yeah, you can paint him a while on the side. There you go. Yay. Okay. And then we are going to tie. Paint. You can take the paint to your side. Okay. So we got the pendulum. Okay. Now we need to make a little hole on here. So. Somewhere on your bottle. Dripping. Okay, maybe we should make it just a teeny bit lighter. And all right, so it's it's not really coming out, or it's getting stuck on the plastic. Watch your arm real quick. Okay, there it is. So what can we do to fix that, Robert? Look. What can we do to fix that? You don't know. How about we have more water? Let's add a little bit more water. Hold that cover so it does not leak out. Let's add more water. Ah! And I'm here making a mess. Can you pour some on me? Okay. I'm shake it up. Okay. And let's move this one so we can I see need what happens. Paint on me. I need Ready? paint on you. Set. All right. Let's see. Give me paint. Uh, doesn't want to get out of that bottle. What doesn't want to get out? The paint. We're trying to get that paint to come out, right? And make us some beautiful art. All right, let's try something else. Let's try it on the Ziploc. Oop. Science, you guys. Duh. There's a lot of pressure on there. And we didn't figure that out until right now. But I tried opening it up. Can you hand me another sheet of paper? So that air pressure was making this not want to come out, okay? So I loosened the cap a little bit, and I think it all came out. Oh, there we go. Oh, see that? So we see what's starting to happen. Now, all those trials, I made this little incision a little bit too wide, so we could try it again. We'll make it small again, and we'll release that pressure so that the ink or the paint can actually flow through there. All right, so let's try it one more time. I'm going to change the bottle. All right, Robert, do you have a color request? color should we make this next one? Ooh, purple. Purple. We already have purple. Purple. Can you look in the paint here and find me purple? Look behind you. Can you find me the color you want to see? Us? I found it. You found it? Please don't give me red hair. All right, so let's clean this off a little bit. Here's red hair. Okay. Ooh, sweetie, can you do me red a hair. big favor? I don't want red hair. 
You want to see your screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. While well, you screen, can you help me pour it into the little bottle? Pour it in the bottle. Just a little bit. Okay? Any color you want. But I do need a sheet of paper. Mm. Here we go. I got some more paper up here. And where is I can't open it. Okay, I'll help you in a bit. Okay. And now we're gonna Make that little position. Just it on the side. It's all kind of thick. You need to get this thing off. I need to get that off. Thin out that paint a little more. It's coming. I need the paint actually. I got paint all over my fingers. It's not really coming out smooth. Let's try with maybe another paint. I think that one's too thick. I can't get it to flow properly. Oh, and there it goes. There it goes. Hey, Robert, do you see that? Let's change the direction. Mommy, can I have that? What do you need? To wash your tooth uh, your toothbrush. Your paintbrush. Yeah. And your hand. Can you reach the paper towel? Or do you need help? Alright. 
We're going to do this with the little Ziplocs. And then we'll see, maybe that will flow a little bit better. Um, so you can start seeing some of those streaks going. You can kind of see the pattern that it started taking when the paint was a little bit more um, diluted. Okay. Um, let me just set this back up for you. And then we're going to be using, again, the Ziplocs. But this time, I'm going to put some black paper on there. It's actually black chalk paper. But we're going to be putting some amazing color paint on there. So you'll get to see how beautiful that actually looks. Um, let me get rid of this. colors it's gold so that's gonna look nice on a black background all right let's see let's try this with a ziploc we'll pour some paint into the bag and then some water Just dilute that paint in there, mix it. And I haven't used this paint for this before, so we'll see how it comes out. Okay. We'll cut 
tie it. And then we're going to carefully cut a tiny little hole so not all of that comes out at the same time. Okay. And we're going to do our pendulum. Okay, maybe the hole needs to be a tiny little bit bigger. I'm just scared it's all going to just squirt out at the same time. There we go. We can move the pattern. Alright, so you see the pattern it takes. Now if you had a nice flow going, you wouldn't see it so spotty. It'd be nice lines. But that's what that's what you gotta keep trying, right? We keep keep trying. So let's see, what else can we do with this? Actually, you can make your own pendulum at home with basically any materials you have available. Um, we had a tripod, so we just used the tripod, super easy to do. Um, we also could use any material available, get a stick, put it between, you know, two chairs, um, tie the center and do that. We could even get more creative and do like a Newton's cradle or something interesting like that. Um, but you see this is starting to look, if I were to have used maybe, oh no, this color is nice. We can start using this as the background to a painting. Um, or you could just leave it and frame it that way. This is starting to look like the sky, so maybe we could do some planet painting of some sort. Um, we can actually do that. It's drying pretty quick because it's not too thick. And we got a nice little pattern going. Okay, so let's do this. So now we know about mixing colors. We can make our own colors if we don't have all the colors. We can um, do many other things. But let's see. Maybe we can make some planets or something on this. Let's see. What colors could we use? Okay, we know Neptune is a beautiful blue. So. We might need to add Okay, we can start by just making spheres. There's other ways we can make spheres. You know, you could use a protractor if you want to make a really nice sphere. You can um, make your own and use string attached to one of the ends. Okay. If you're not too comfortable making circles freehand. And this is why I love paint. If you mess up, you can fix it easy. Okay, so we can start creating a solar system or you can make anything really you wanted to turn this into. Um, let's see, so 
just to give you a rough idea of what a lot of your paintings will end up looking like after doing the pendulum. Um, if you get that to flow really, really smoothly, you're going to actually get to see shapes that start looking like this. Okay, and over time they start kind of turning, depending on your pendulum swing. So, let's see, and I think Robert left me. Robert! Robert! Hey! Do you know about the planets? Yes. Yes? What are the planets? Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, mm -hmm. Neptune. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? That's it. Uranus. Did you count them? Uranus. Uh huh. Venus. Venus. Okay. All right. And then, is this looking nice? That's the Earth. Um, we can turn that into Earth. What should we add to it to make it look like Earth? Green. Green. Can you help me that? Yeah. Help me with that. You have green over here. And I'll do it. And then you will do it. So make that look like our beautiful Earth. Looking good. So what's the blue? The water. The water. And what's the green? The land. The land. That's my earth. That's your earth. That's a beautiful earth. Alright. What goes around earth? Something goes to the side. Oh, around Earth, does it? Let's yes. see. We have the sun. And we have Earth. Which one goes around which? Earth oh, goes all the around planets. the sun. Earth goes around the sun. Okay. So we have our sun and we have our Earth. And Earth goes around the sun. But then there's something else. Over here, that's always staying with us. And it's going around us. And we see it every night. The moon? The moon! How about you make a teeny little moon over here? Teeny one? Oh, teeny moon. What color should we make it? Oh. There's gray. How about gray? Okay. Let me add it on here. So, Earth revolves around the sun. <laughs> you can do it over on this area where there's no. Oh, there's our moon. Beautiful moon. Alright, what else should we make to this painting? The sun? The sun. Where it is. What color Venus? is it? Venus. And Venus. You want to make Venus? And the Pluto blowing up right now. What? He's so mean to Pluto. Little dwarf planet. He's dead already. <laughs> Who has make him blow up here? He's dead already. Aww. Alright, what else are you going to make on this? Pluto. Blowing up. Go make Pluto. You like things blowing up. <laughs> Jimmy Golden all blowing up. Blow up. <laughs> Look, it's blowing up right now. Blow uh oh. Alright, what else are you going to make on here? Blew up. <gasps> okay. Um, orange. 
orange. Where did orange go? I think we put it back. Is orange back there? Yep. You see it. All right, so um, more pendulum colors that we thought for this background um, would be, somebody mentioned white for the stars. That's an amazing idea. I just don't have white paint right now, but yes, <laughs> that would definitely work. And again, you know, this was just something that we thought of as we were going and as we were working. Um, we could definitely do different types of um, paintings. We could, you know, use the pendulum and then make that into a beautiful garden or something, um, something that you would like. So Robert's over here making the sun. Okay. The sun. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. And what is the sun? It's like a big asteroid ball. <laughs> but if you touch it, it's a big ball of gas. And then if you touch it, you'll... It's a star, right? Mm -hmm. That's the star that goes to us. The closest star. Yeah, the closest star. It's not like 50 foot miles away. Oh no, we'd be like crispy right now. <laughs> crispy, 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 crispy. All right, go fast. All right, what else are you going to make? Sun. Sun. Mm -hmm. We have the sun. Right sun is like sun. Way bigger than this. I know, if we, were, if we were to make an actual sun, I don't even think it would fit on this page. It's huge. Then it would be like this. Yeah, it's huge. I got gold on me. Look at this. All right, do you want to sign this with your name on it? Because you made it. Okay. Okay, pick a color and you can sign a little corner over here. I'll choose a color. My color is gonna be dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Do you have another little plate? No. I can't open. You can't open, I know. I can't open it. Here we go. Where's the plate? Where are the little dishes? No more? I'll put it on the side of this one. There you go. amazing art um, exploration. Um, I hope you guys Get yucky use some of what we've done today and, you know, try it at home, try it at school if you're a teacher. Um, you can create like a mystery game with the whole chromatography ink um, with the pens. Just, you know, find same color pens with different brands um, and then test them out and then just kind of see and create like a fun little activity for your friends um, you know to solve a mystery you can add things to your mystery case where you know even things like fingerprints are involved um, and just fun things like that um, 
you know, it's, it's fun having those little activities going, um, especially when you're trying to solve like a mystery of some sort, like, you know, who stole the gold or something. Um, so, did you like the ink, Robert? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Were you surprised who changed our menu today? Mm -hmm. Who changed our menu? Me. You? It was actually me. It was actually you? So what happened? Just kidding! It was actually Michael! Michael changed the menu for the day. So he's buying us pizza. Hopefully he orders it soon because I am starting to get hungry. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, everybody. Um, again, have fun, enjoy science and art, two of my favorite things. I'm a middle school science teacher. I teach seventh and eighth grade. And some of my background is like, you know, artsy too. I went to school for interior architectural design. So I love those two things. Hey, Robert, do you love art? Yeah. I think he does. You can kind of look at what he's doing right now. He's mixing colors. What are you going to make next? What are you going to make next, huh? No words. Universal. <laughs> the universe? Universal? All right, ladies and gentlemen and everybody who joined us, thank you so much again. Have a great day. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you soon.